We'll have much more Eagles coverage a little bit later, including Sal Palantonio joining us. But Cowboys owner Jerry Jones was asked at the Senior Bowl if it's fair to consider Jason Garrett on the hot seat in 2018. Jones said it's certainly fair of you to say that, but he's not on the hot seat. He is not on my hot seat. So for more on that, let's bring back, as promised, our insider Adam Schefter. Adam, just out of curiosity, from what you've been able to ascertain, how hot did the seat actually get in Dallas this past season for Jason Garrett? Not as hot as people thought, and I'm surprised that it's January 24th and we're talking about the temperature of Jason Garrett's seat, which I thought could wait at least seven, eight, nine months before we heated that back up again, Trey, but apparently not. Obviously, Jerry Jones is asked to address it at the Senior Bowl. He said that Jason Garrett is safe. I think this year there was some question that existed and speculation that existed about whether Jason Garrett could be let go at the end of the year. I don't think Jerry Jones ever got close to that particular point in time. He was not intending to make a change. He did not make a change. And we could continue to speculate about whether a change can be made in the 2018-2019 seasons if we want to get ahead of ourselves. Well, okay, let's do that. No, we'll do, we'll do that later. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about something else for the Cowboys. Uh, is it safe to say that defensive end Marcus Lawrence, Demarcus Lawrence, who will be a free agent, is basically the top offseason priority for Dallas after that breakout season? Without question. I think that you could see the Dallas Cowboys franchise him to the tune of $17 million. It's a lot of money, but he's their best pass rusher. 12 sacks last year. This is a defense that cannot afford to take a step back. And while this team has a list of demands and a list of needs that it has to address during the offseason, losing Demarcus Lawrence does not qualify as something that this team should, should subject itself to. And that's why when we come back to Des Bryant, saying that he's unwilling to take a pay cut. That's why it becomes relevant, because there are other things that this team needs to get done, no matter what, and they're going to have to find the money from somewhere. Putting a franchise tag on Demarcus Lawrence, finding a way to keep Demarcus Lawrence, that's at the top of the list of the priorities, and it would not be a surprise if the Dallas Cowboys franchise him or try to sign him to a long-term deal, which would be difficult to do before free agency begins. All right, Adam, thanks. We'll check back with you in just a little bit. Let, let's go right there for a minute because the Dallas Cowboys were the number one seed in the playoffs last year. Of course, they lose in the division around a home game in an epic comeback by the Green Bay Packers. Great back-and-forth contest between those two teams. More of a comeback by Dallas to tie it, and then Green Bay took the lead again. What do you think their biggest issue is as they were 9-7 and seven this year but failed to capitalize on last year's special season? I don't know. It's almost, it's almost like you give them a pass offensively. With because everything of Zeke? With, with Zeke, yes. I mean – not having that rhythm every week, is Zeke going to be there? Is he not going to be there? So I, I almost give him a pass for that. Des Bryant, though, so also on the offensive side of the ball, I think that has to be addressed. I mean, him and Dak aren't that threat that's respected throughout the league. It's like, so defensively, you're going up against Dallas. It's all based on the run game. It's all based off of play action. It isn't they have this outstanding wide receiver over here that we have to double. That's secondary right now in terms of who they are offensively. And if you have a receiver that has that cap number that Des Bryant has, something's got to give. Something's got to give if, if he wants to stay in Dallas. Also, if it looks like they have a pass rusher that they want to pay. So I think that's a pressing issue that they need, to, they, need to, they need to fix because if you have so much money in a position that isn't being productive, something has to be done. Look, that 16-touchdown catch performance of 2014 literally feels, Joe, like a long, long time ago for Des Bryant. Team speed, especially on the offense and the wide receiver position, I think seems to be something they need to pick up on, yes? No doubt, especially if they want to continue to be a team that runs the ball and takes those deep shots in play action. you got to be able to have a receiver that can take the top off the defense and create that separation between your safeties and your linebackers. And let's also be clear, Zach Martin's going to be a free agent, and they got to get that contract done. And we're talking about one of the best interior linemen. I mean, he's no Joe Thomas, but as a, gu as a guard goes, I mean, he's about as good as it gets, too. So they got to, they got to figure out a way to pay him, too. Windows open and close quickly sometimes, and it seems like their window was open last year, and they, they couldn't get it done versus, versus Green Bay in the, in the playoffs, in the playoffs back then. But now it's almost like, okay, you get a pass offensively you got to get DeMarcus Lawrence back. If it's the franchise like Adam's talking about, good. Because a pass rusher, you need those finishers. Because they sh those areas of third down, pass defense, when you're talking about struggles in those areas, you're talking about players that finish on the quarterback. You're talking about defensive backs or linebackers that finish in breaking up passes or making that tackle. So the health of Sean Lee, Jalen Smith, how's he doing defensively? Is he going to take another step to become a better linebacker? But there's are, there are questions defensively that where they need to get better. 
Boy, the difference with Sean Lee on the field for the Cowboys as opposed to when he's not playing, I think the running yards total almost doubled, Teddy. It was yeah, insane. More, more than when Zeke. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just he's such a valuable piece to that defense that, I don't know, when they see Sean's gone, the communication, the – the, the sort of synergy from the back to the front is just not there. And so him being on the field for 16 games is so important. Plus he's an eraser of mistakes. I mean, like, they could not be lined up correctly, but he's so good athletically, he finds a way to get there when he probably shouldn't be making the play. I've seen him take guys like this and throw them yeah. <laughs> into, their, into the spot they're supposed to be, so very valuable. Just keep in mind, the last five seasons, every number one seed has made it to the Super Bowl except one. The Dallas Cowboys last year at 13 and three. They have two playoff wins uh, in their last 21 seasons. Uh, 21, uh, 21 seasons. 21 seasons. Just two.